Yeah, buzzing to start with, excited. Um, you know, it's been a busy few or a couple of days really since um, Saturday evening. Obviously had a, a chat with, with all the board members of obviously Nigel Kent. Um, and then obviously moving from there, the, the decision was made. Um, and yeah, it's been a mixture of, of excitement. Um, of course, a lot of um, work in terms of getting ready for Tuesday, which is really the main focus really with, with a game so quickly at hand, um, but really, really looking forward to the challenge. Um, today was a big day coming in and obviously speaking to the staff, speaking to the players. Um, I was happy that went pretty well and, and we got a good response in terms of training wise. And, um, you know, we just want to get the place going again, really, and, and get moving. Had a lot of highs and lows with the club, and I think it's pretty fair to say you've got quite a unique relationship with Leighton Yeah, it's been. Um, I'd say the, the lows were certainly in the past, you know, and um, you know, from a, a, a professional point of view, you know, it's been some good times the last few years. Of course, we've had to deal with, you know, huge personal um, tragedy, obviously with Justin passing. Um, but for me, as a whole, we've, we've we've got through these times as a group. We've got through them together. And certainly, you know, now that the decision's been made, you know, I'm hoping we can, you know, get together, we can move forward as a collective at all levels of the football club. Because ultimately, you know, that's the only way you can really achieve things and, and move forward and be successful. So, um, yeah, delighted to be here and, and really, really looking forward to, to what's next. Mm. Coming to the manager side in a moment, but obviously in a great tracksuit today. And what does this mean for you as a, as a player? Well, again, it's... Um, a, a big decision, but a really important one for me. Um, you know, I want to give this the best possible chance of being successful, um, of course, you know, for myself, but I think more importantly so for that group of players in there and for the group of staff to know exactly what the situation is. I think we need a clarity, um, we need a clear path. And again, I made sure that I spelt that out today while I am in this position. That will be my primary focus. Um, I won't be put myself up for selection or bring myself off in the, the 85th minute. Um, that's for sure. Of course, if I'm needed, you know, whether it's injuries, whether it's suspensions, um, then I'm available. I'm a player and I want to help Leighton Orient Football Club. Um, but on the whole, um, I'm hoping I won't be needed. And my job certainly is going to be managing this club between obviously now and the end of the season. The title is obviously interim manager, which is a departure from head coach. Do you think that's a title that perhaps lends more to your strengths? Yeah, for sure. Um, I think it's important to be honest. I said that to the players today, to be realistic about what your strengths and weaknesses are. You know, in any walk of life, you're not absolutely brilliant at everything. You're still learning at some things. And I'm certainly in that process. You know, I'd be silly to say anything otherwise. You know, for me, there is a difference between a manager and a, and a coach. Um, of course, I've started my coaching journey. Um, whether it through doing my qualifications and a bit of the time I had last year on the football pitch. Um, but again, there is a difference, you know, and at the moment, I would say, if you're asking me what my skill set is, it is leading people, it is organising, it is managing. Um, and I've got a fantastic team, you know, of staff, which I will use. Again, I, I'll put a demand on them. I think we all need to be better collectively. Um, and I want the levels raised, you know, and uh, again, to a man, they've responded fantastically well today. They're embracing that challenge. I want to push the group, you know, I want to take them out of a comfort zone um, and, and improve. You know, that's the bottom line. If we can improve every footballer and every aspect of the club, then performances will follow and results will follow. And that's ultimately, for me, what my job is, is to get us back winning football matches. And again, for me, from a manager's point of view, and that's what I'm aiming to do. In terms of maybe style of football and what we see on the pitch, what is it that we can expect from like a Joby McEnough team, both, both short and long term? Again, uh, for me, another good question. I think a lot of the good teams, people will say, are, are reflections of their managers, um, certain traits and characteristics. Clearly, that takes a little bit of time. But straight off the bat, I want to have an intensity about us, about our work. I want to be hard to beat. You know, I want to be consistent. I think they're three things that I would apply to myself throughout my career. Um, but it takes a lot of hard work to do that. You know, it takes a lot of um, unselfishness in terms of, um, you know, working for others, which I think is massive. Um, and I think from my point of view, if we can achieve those things, then you can start building, you know, then you can start adding the little bits on top. 
um, to maybe take you to that next level. Whereas at the moment, it's about doing the basics well. You know, we haven't been good enough in attacking areas. I want to free those boys up a little bit. Again, for me, I want that license when I go out on the football pitch. But you can't just say go and play and go and attack without a base behind it. That's certainly something I'm looking at. Um, again, I want us to be athletic. And again, I'll put teams out for the most part where I feel that that will tick that box um, where no one's going to run over us. I want energy. Um, and again, for me, if we can do those things with the personnel we've got here, we will win games as simple as that. Then it's about winning games consistently and not stopping at three games, you know, and, and thinking we've done OK um, or accepting we've done OK. You know, I want five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten games unbeaten. You know, then you might lose the odd game. Then you can go again quicker rather than the up and down nature that we have been um, for a little while now. So that's clearly something that I'll be trying to get into that team. Mm. Obviously, going into a new environment as a manager is it's a big experience anyway, but to do that when they're your old teammates is, is an even bigger one. Do you think that's a set of challenges there or, or do you see that as a positive? I think it works both ways. or It, it certainly can. Um, it's challenging to find the right tone with people that have been teammates, people that I have shared fantastic experiences with on the football pitch and helped me get through some real tough ones off the pitch. Um, but I say overall that has to be a, a positive thing because I know the boys, I know, or I'd like to think I know what makes them tick. You know, I think I, I, think I know what I can get and so I know what I need to do to get the best out of these group of players. And that's where the clarity comes in it for me. I'm not trying to be somebody completely different today than I was yesterday, because again, that doesn't work. You know, I can't come in and just hide myself away and, and be this manager who sits in his office all day. And I don't want that anyway. You know, I want a good relationship with my players, whether it's here or somewhere else down the line. I want to have a good relationship with players. What they need to understand is where that line is. And again, that's up to me to tell them and to show them where that line is and make sure we're not getting any wires crossed on that front, regardless of whether I've been with someone for four years or four months or four weeks, everyone will get exactly the same treatment. I will pick a team that is best for Leighton Orient to go and win on a Saturday or a Tuesday night. It doesn't matter to me who those players are or what my experience is with them. Um, and again, they know that. I think they know me well enough. Again, you know, speaking to them this morning, I don't think I would have said anything in terms of what I demand that would have surprised them because that's what I live my life by. I think that's what's got me to where I am and playing still at this level. Um, and I think for me, it's served me well. So I'd be silly enough to not follow that through as a manager and make those demands from the players. Mm. Obviously, stepping down from the role, I guess, as, as club captain means that there is that space for, for someone to take that armband. Is that a decision you made already? Um, not really. I think it's a big decision. Um, I think first and foremost on the football pitch, again, you know, what I want is five, six, seven leaders. You know, I don't ever think it should be just down to one particular person to get the lads going or help us recover from a one goal deficit. Um, I do believe the best teams have got multiple leaders in there, regardless of who's got an armband on. I've been lucky enough to wear the armband. But again, in the teams that I've been successful in, you could have looked on that pitch and been like, well, he's actually, if no one had an armband on, he could be a captain, he could be a captain, he could be a captain. And again, that takes the onus off of the actual captain as well, because there are days where you're trying to get through a game, it might be an injury, it might be fatigue, and you might not be able to be at that level you need to be at and you need a bit of help sometimes. And again, for me, the more we can have, the better. Um, at the moment, obviously, course is injured. Craig Clay um, is going to be captain for the Grimsby game. I think for him, and I've spoken to Craig a lot about this, he's one that I see taking that position on, certainly in terms of his own game. I think he's consistent now. I think he's found a consistency in a game, which I think is very important for a captain, that you're going out there and you're comfortable with your own performances. And then it is about what can I do to make him better, whether that is information, driving people on, knowing the right time to give them a little, you know, G up. And I think he's ready to do that in terms of his game. And I think it will, as I found when I got it relatively, say like late 20s, that it actually took my game to another level because I felt that responsibility and I wanted to, to help the other lads out. So he'll be doing it for now. Again, you know, Tomo's come in, he's been fantastic. Um, you know, Joe Widdison's a, a bit more of a quiet leader, but he leads by example in terms of his performances. And again, I want that, I want that throughout the team. You know, Cease, again, another one who 
he, he gets on with his work, he is vocal, he does talk, he does organise, he does lead and he'll be a big part of that as well. So I want to create a group where it's not necessarily on one person's shoulders and I think if I can do that, um, then we'll be a better team for it. Yeah, um, obviously with, with the role um, comes that kind of interim tag. What does that mean to you when you're speaking to the board and, and what does that, what does this position potentially hold? Well, for me, obviously, the term interim is, is it's not permanent, you know, but I'm not going to come in and act as if it's not permanent. You know, this is a job I believe I can do. It's a job that, again, I'm very excited about doing. Ultimately, I have to go and prove that I can do the job. You know, I have to prove that I can get more out of this group of players than currently has been happening. So that's the first port of call. And my first answer to that would be, yes, I absolutely do believe I can do that. Um, then again, it's about building, it's about consistency, it's about getting results week in, week out to then make them think, right, I can do it longer term. And again, for me, it was just very important for the players to understand that, you know, I'm not coming in thinking I'm an interim manager, I'm the manager now. And again, from my point of view, I'm picking a team. You know, of course, I'm going to have great support. Danny Sender is going to be a big part of it. Matty Harold on the coaching side is going to be a big part of it. All the other departments are going to help me to do my job. But ultimately, the buck stops with me. And I think from that point of view, um, again, it's probably a bit of time for everybody to have a look at me and see if I'm up to the job. And it's up to me to be, to be up to the job. It's a fantastic opportunity. You know, I'm well aware of that. Um, there is a pressure that comes from that. But... That's football. And, you know, if you're going to be in this position and be fortunate enough to be given this chance, you have to embrace that and use it to, to drive me on. And that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. Mm. Well, tomorrow night's a great opportunity to, to kick start with some momentum. You always travel to, to Grimsby Town. Yeah, again, a team that has been searching, um, scratching around, whether it be changing formations. They've been a quite a hard team to analyse. Um, personnel has been changing quite often. Um, so, of course, we'll have an idea of, of what they're going to do, what their threats are, things they've been doing well or not so well. But I want to make tomorrow about us. You know, I want it to be a fresh start. I want, as I said, an energy about our performance because, unfortunately, and for any team that's been down there, you're down there for a reason. You know, we are where we are because we haven't been consistent enough. Not because we can't be there. We just can't maintain it at this moment in time. Unfortunately for them, they're at the bottom of the table. So I want to go there get right on top of them, you know, start the game really well. And hopefully if we can do that and start on the front foot and be positive and be brave, um, we can get off to a good start. Yeah, well, Gaffer, thank you very much and, and good luck tomorrow night. Thank you very much.